Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Um, today is a very special day for me because we are finally picking up a car that has been long gone. It was nearly one year. You can read it by the title of the video already. It's the R35 GTR. We're picking up my R35 GTR. And not only we're picking it up, we're actually also dynoing it today to see how much horsepower it actually has, which is going to be very interesting, I think. We're here at Luther Racing in lovely Austria. It doesn't look and feel like winter at all, but I can guarantee you it is winter. Yeah, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you my lovely GTR. I'm very excited. I can't wait to drive this car again. And I'm also going to explain to you what we actually did to the R35 that it has been gone for this long time. And then a little dyno action is going to be pretty good, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, and also, uh, look, your yeah, favorite money. Hey man. <laughs> Behind the door. <laughs> My baby is finally back. My lovely R35. I've had this car for four years now. It's been four years since yeah. I had this car. And now it was gone for nearly one year. But now it's finally. Yeah, it has to survive this day. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't really do a lot. We, we had to wait for the rear bumper for quite some time. I had the Nismo bumper on. Mm -hmm. Now I have the original one on. What happened with the other bumper? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting for the Nismo bumper, but in the meantime, I have the normal one on. The front also had to get repaired because I drove it in winter last year. I didn't crash, so it just. But it um, looks amazing. Yeah. Very good. It's still in summer tires, so I think we have to change that later, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mani has got a new phone now, so he... <laughs> uh, yeah, here you can see my lovely R35 GTR. Like I said already, we replaced the front bumper. We painted this black, actually, which looks really good now. Mm -hmm. I also have a new splitter because my old one fell off last winter, <laughs> as did some other parts of the car. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, the first thing you might notice is that I have different blowups in. We can probably hear them later. Now the complete engine is rebuilt because I drove it for three years and 30,000 kilometers. Uh, it is now basically completely new, I guess you could say. Yeah, okay, it's a bit new. It's newer than it was before. After talking to my chief mechanic right now, I found out that the engine actually didn't really have any issues. So we didn't have to replace many of the parts. Some of the lager and Bearings. Bearings, right? They were replaced. Uh, we replaced the turbochargers because they were fetzen. <laughs> <laughs> so I have now uh, brand new turbochargers on my R35. They're a bit bigger than the original ones, so it should obviously put out more power. The complete engine is actually um, it's not stock anymore, it's modified. All the parts inside my engine are strengthened so that they can keep up with all the horsepower this car is producing because it's producing a lot of horsepower. Not as much as one is, but still respectable for power numbers. Yeah, we have a complete Akrovich system on the car from the front to the back, which you can see in the rear. It looks really disgusting because I've been driving it for four years now, like I said. Almost in winter and we put some very suspicious fluids inside the exhaust so that flames come out a little bit more and in different colors sometimes. <laughs> we have lovely brake wheels, which are my summer tires. They're sitting on pretty big tires actually, 345 tires, which is crazy for an all-wheel drive car. Inside, you see my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Civic? <laughs> <laughs> now we have recovery pole position like I have in nearly every car because these are obviously the best seats. Nismo mm -hmm. steering wheel, apart from that it's pretty much stock. I mean the GTR looks pretty nice stock already. Mm -hmm. And uh, suspension, I have a Berlin's road and track suspension in it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's sitting so low. And we also upgraded the brakes a little bit. I drive the car on the track regularly so that's why we did that. Everybody keeps asking me about, about the spoiler. Honestly I have no idea why I bought it. it it's been like like four years ago, but I love it. I think it's the best spoiler you can get for the R35. Although I get a lot of hate for it from Ulle and my other friends, but I, I think it just looks the best, especially if you look at it on the side. But yeah, uh, I mean, I obviously forgot some parts. Air vents. So all in all, it's just a built R35 GTR. We're gonna see today how much horsepower it puts out. Can yeah, I start on the machine and <laughs> let's <Okay>. go. <laughs> Jürgen? Jürgen <laughs> So, 
warming up the car. The car actually got done yesterday in the evening. That's why it's so dirty. Uh, we're gonna get it polished after the diner run. And yeah, then it's gonna be clean and shiny again and ready to be driven in the snow and winter. Perfect. <laughs> we slowly turn up the boost and see how much horsepower we can achieve today with a lovely RD5. Also, I have to say that uh, all the numbers you see today are wheel horsepower. So engine horsepower is going to be a bit higher than wheel horsepower. So just keep that in mind. Let's go. Oh yeah, here you can see the boost numbers. So I think we, yeah, boost was up a little bit again. So now we are nearly 1,000 newton meters and 762 horsepower. Yeah, it's insane. Also look at my fancy headset, by the way. It's pretty cool. nearly two pounds of boost also we made 787 to the wheels perfect so, so that's with bad fuel it's 650 to the wheels or 660 yeah, to the for wheels the 95 or 98 okay then yeah pump gas then this is uh, the car for the like i say 100 of them okay with the uh, with the same boost as the ah car, okay the, the same boost but different octane ratings basically exactly ah. only difference is uh, the timing on this one also the torque yeah. increase almost ah, yeah. by exactly the same rpm six so pass. that's where we increase the boost a little bit yeah and then we add more power maybe and more torque baby more, more power and also more torque <laughs> so and uh, you can see that you have uh, the full torque yeah, directly from the side. From, uh, yeah, let's say 4,000 RPMs uh, all the way to the back. Yeah, so now the fun part begins where we go and make some good old fashioned flames. The part where we all click this video or why we all watch this. We have a surprise for oh. you. <laughs>
the genius idea to turn the lights down. But uh, we see the flames a little bit better. I think that was pretty successful. Uh, we measured like one meter flames. I have blisters on my hands now, but it was worth it. Yeah, we're gonna probably go and drive the car out of the dyno now. And then I think we're gonna go drive home and then it's going to get detailed and then it's ready for winter again. I can't wait, man, to drive this car. It's honestly one of the best cars I've ever had or, have, or one of the best cars I own. I made it back home safely yesterday with my GTR. It's a bit rainy outside, so the car is not in the best condition. And this lovely gentleman here will actually help me clean the car and make it look properly shiny and beautiful on the outside and on the inside. This is Manu from Wagen Glanz. Glanzwelt. Glanzwelt, okay. Genau. Wir nehmen das Fahrzeug jetzt mit. Und, um, I'm going to put side titles because he doesn't want to speak English, by the way. Wir nehmen das Fahrzeug jetzt mit, dann wird das Ganze tiefen gereinigt. Und dann schauen wir uns mal den Lack an, sowie den Innenraum. Und ja, was da genau passiert und gemacht wird, seht ihr im weiteren Video. Willkommen bei uns in der Glanzwelt. Wir sind in der Heiligen Halle. Wir haben gestern das Auto vom Otto geholt, wie ihr gesehen habt. Und heute sind wir dran an der Aufbereitung. Wir haben jetzt mal zwei Sachen vorbereitet, und zwar zwei 50-50, vorher, nachher. Was denn alles möglich ist und was denn an dem Lack überhaupt los ist. Und das zeigen wir euch jetzt. Wie ihr seht, habt ihr hier eine ziemlich blinde Oberfläche. Viele Defekte. Genau, wir beseitigen jetzt das Ganze. Hier seht ihr vorher und hier das nachher. Wir haben einfach zweistufig den Lack poliert, erstmal angeschliffen und dann fein hochglanzpoliert. Und wie das Ganze aussieht, seht ihr jetzt. <lacht> 